It's just like an explosion. I mean, that's the only way you can describe it. An SUV speeding at over 100 miles an hour ripped through the concrete wall of this music store. Rick and Teresa Hester had taken their four-year-old daughter there. Little Elise loved to play the drums. I was sitting on the drum set um, in front of her, and she was on the drum set behind me. The vehicle plowed over the drum set where Elise was sitting and went through the wall into the mattress store next door. I started to see just maybe two feet in front of me, and there was pieces of debris in the floor. And I looked down, and all of the drums where we were sitting were taken out. And the first thought that went through my head is, where's Elise? And Teresa hollered Elise's name out twice with no response. And at that point, we just knew she was dead. I looked down at the floor to see if I could see her feet sticking up because pieces of the ceiling were caved in and pieces of the wall. The light was coming in more. You could see pieces of the wall on the floor. I felt afraid. And honestly, it's, it's so strange that you know, in just a few seconds you could feel so much emotion, but, well, it's like reliving the whole thing. But I felt like if she's gone, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here either. And I remember that, feeling that I didn't want to be alive if she wasn't alive. But to everyone's surprise and relief, a little figure appeared in the midst of the dust and debris. About probably 15 to 20 seconds later, she came running from the very back of the store and was saying, oh, I'm right here, Mommy, I'm right here. And that was the biggest blessing seeing that child run through there you've ever had in your life. Rick and Teresa started to question little Elise. Her story shocked everyone. And I said, are you okay? And she said, I'm fine. And I said, well, Elise, how did you get off the drums? You were right there on them. And she said, well, Jesus picked me up and moved me, Mom. She said that when he picked her up, he picked her up with one hand, and she said he has really big hands, Mommy, and it, it felt like I was in water. Since then, her story hasn't changed. You told me he did something to your face. What was that? Kissed me. Kissed you where? Can you show, Mom? Right there. How big is Jesus? Bigger than the whole world. Bigger than the whole world? <laughs> The local paper reported that a medical condition may have been the cause of the driver losing control of the car. Amazingly, he went to the hospital with minor injuries. Store clerk Steve Totten is still amazed at what he saw that day. The last I saw, she was sitting at the drum set, and it happened so fast, we thought she had gotten covered up by the debris. It's just a miracle that nobody got hurt or killed. and. To know that she was okay, you know, that made me feel a whole lot better because we really thought she was covered up in all that stuff. Rick and Teresa believe that God truly protected their little girl that rainy summer afternoon. I think of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they were in the fiery furnace and they came out with not even the smell of smoke. And she was so protected that she didn't even have the fear from the accident that we had. It's the most miraculous thing I've ever seen in my life. If I've never seen another miracle as long as I live, I mean, I can actually say I saw one that day.